Las playas, eh, desde septiembre a mayo, junio, nadie mira por ellas. Solo nosotros, los que hacemos surf, hacemos kitesurf, los que estamos siempre en la playa. Y es muy triste llegar a donde tú estás siempre y cada día vas viendo más basura, más basura, más basura. It seems like the more you read and the more you research on these problems, the worse the problem gets. So now I've, I've just finished that big report on marine plastics. The problem to me now is a lot worse than it was before. Buscando olas con, con Tony Bat, empezamos a encontrar verdaderos vertederos en el mar. Y entonces ahí fue cuando dijimos que teníamos que hacer algo. Well, I think the, the connection to the sea, being a water user, surfing, ingesting, immersing, that's, that's half the fun. Uh, and when you're ill first hand, when you, when you walk over a, a high tide line full of trash, it makes you angry. Uh, and I'm not the person who can turn a blind eye to that. So I can either get angry uh, and frustrated, or I can get angry and I can get active. We surfed in the in La Salie, so the beach uh, where the the wharf, the big pipeline is uh, set up. And we knew, you know, from time to time there was huge huge foam. You know, the foam was very uh, dark and uh, brown or something. So we knew from the scratch like there was something wrong with the with the wharf of La Salie. And for me personally and for, for my friend, that's what actually shook us because uh, the prefect, which would be the representative of the, of the government, of the state, locally, swore that, you know, there won't be any rejection in the ocean. I got the word of the state, you know, there won't be any rejection. Meantime, they already started the rejection. J'ai souvenir en allant à la plage de trouver des roulettes en plastique. Et puis, euh, petit à petit, il y en a eu de plus en plus de ces roulettes en plastique. Alors je me disais, je me demandais qu'est-ce que c'était que ces objets. C'est comme ça que j'ai commencé à m'intéresser à, à ces morceaux de plastique. Puis j'ai demandé autour de moi. Et en fait, personne ne, ne savait de quoi il s'agissait. Quand tu es content, à gusto, en quelque chose, procures que ce medio esté siempre bien. Es poco, pero intento limpiarlo todo, todo lo que puedo. Intento concienciar a toda la gente de, del grave problema que tenemos. Se lo debo. Él me lo da todo. Yo debo corresponderle. That's why I'm so worried about the quality of water because if one day you're not able to, you know, just enjoy those simple things, very very simple things, I'd say you will lose something. And I'm not talking only about myself. I'm talking about Pino. People are sensitive, you know, you have sensitive people everywhere and they love those places. You know, it can be a forest, it can be a mountain, you know, and you don't want to spoil that. It's freedom and it's, it's everything that's me really. It's spiritual, it's where I find peace. It feeds my passions, my artwork, but it's part of me really. I don't want to try to dominate nature. I know that that's a mistake. But the big thing is that we're part of nature, so Really, we just need to be able to find our best place within all the elements of nature. Some days where I've just been out in the ocean in big waves, and you have this connection with the waves. It's almost like the waves are it's another person. You build up a relationship with the wave itself. 